Well, as you know, SB 54, Sanctuary State, we've been fighting it here in Fresno locally, the national level, the state level, and we've been saying, where are our where are our generals? All the foot soldiers are out here. Where are some generals, some conservative generals in California? Well, I'll tell you what, one man has stepped up to that position, and uh, he's taken the bull by the reins. His name is California State Senator Joel Anderson from San Diego. Senator Anderson, thanks for your time this afternoon. Hey, Trevor, thank you so much for having me on. Now, you have done what we set out and did here. Our own mayor here made national headlines on Breitbart for saying Fresno's not going to be a sanctuary city. And then, Senator, you know what happened. The social justice warriors of Fresno got to him. He comes out, does another press conference, basically stating it's words with no real meaning. That upset a lot of us deplorables. And, we, uh, Senator, we had 590 people within a couple hours show up to sign a petition, and they were angry and they were livid. Uh, you're doing the same thing. I, I am. We've collected almost 40,000 signatures on my state website. Uh, we're asking that people sign up. When we get to 100,000, I'm going to deliver them to the author and ask him to pull his bill. If he doesn't, then I'll also deliver them to the governor and ask for a veto. SB 54 is the greatest threat to dreamers. SB 54 shields felons. We're talking about rapists, child molesters, arsonists, uh, bombers. We're, it shields them from deportation and returns them to our communities, forcing ICE to go door to door. And that means a lot of dreamers are going to get picked up along the way. Senator Anderson, what's wrong with sane-minded Democrats who know they locked their door at night? They know if any of that illegal behavior happened when they were in a parking lot, uh, whether they were at church, it happened at school, wherever it happened, they would immediately call the police and would be upset if the police wouldn't do something about it, but yet turn a blind eye to real crime. Well, there are still some of those Democrats. Uh, Thirteen Democrats have not agreed to support this bill. It doesn't mean that the pro tem won't leverage them and at some point get their vote down the road, but so far we're holding them strong. So we've, we've been um, uh, sharing our petition with them, and I have to tell you that um, I'm not sure if your senator is Andy Vidak or, or uh, yes. Gene Vidak. Andy has been uh, at our press conferences. He's been uh, supporting this effort. He's Facebooked it. He's He's tweeted it out and, and sent a lot of Central Valley folks to my website to to sign the petition. So I, I want to do a shout out to my buddy because he's doing a heck of a job. Well, good. The word's getting out and we'll help any way we can, Senator. Uh, we all got to help here. I always say we're like missionaries, aren't we, oh, out here in California? Absolutely. And l- let me just tell you how goofy SB 54 is. So if you, he, the author took some amendments back on March 1st. And it eliminated 23 murder, um, 23 different types of murder it eliminated. But if you uh, get hit by a car and the person kills you with vehicular manslaughter, that's not covered, and that would uh, be shielded from ICE. If uh, you raped a woman and she was able to defend herself, uh, and you raped her anyway, you would not be shielded by 54. However, if you gave her date drugs, knocked her out, or got her so drunk that she passed out and raped her, you would be shielded by 54. And if the person was 14 years old, or if the person was developmentally disabled and wasn't capable of uh, agreeing to have sex, you would be shielded under 54. I think if you're a rape victim, you don't care how the rapist does it. You're still a victim, and that's still a serious crime. And yet, this bill distinguishes between good rapists and bad rapists. Rapists that we want to remain in our community and rapists that we want to deport to their uh, country of origin. So this, this is why this bill is just so, so dangerous and so uh, uh, irresponsible. Senator Joel Anderson is my guest, Republican from San Diego, fighting back hard on SB 54. Senator, our Fresno Unified School District here did a safe place basically sanctuary school policy resolution and uh the school district president hasn't come on yet and i even told him the question in advance i said hey you got a week to think about your answer i said if i asked you if i were a school teacher if trevor carey were a seventh grade school teacher in fresno and i got caught in an id theft or identity fraud ring or or provided a fake social security number for employment i would be fired but yet they're asking taxpayers here to provide legal services for illegal alien parents to committing the exact same crime. Well, that, that's a whole different bill. And uh, while that's important, 
I think that, that we should be most concerned about having these felons shielded and returned to our communities. No one's ever died because of ID theft. However, uh, uh, people have died at the hands of these felons. We have 11,661 felons right now, undocumented, serving in our prison system. And I don't want to see any of those child molesters returning to our communities. I don't want to see any of those rapists or uh, vehicular manslaughter uh, folks coming back to reoffend and to prey on people in our community. Well, so the, the reason I, I bring the reason I bring it up is because it shows the hypocrisy. Whether it's crime oh. or whether it's taking our tax paying money, they'll they'll we have different rules for different people. Uh, you're absolutely right, Ian. Because we play by the rules, because we are U.S. citizens. We're treated as lesser citizens. Everyone seems to have more rights than we do. Isn't that something? Uh, there, you know, it is absolutely outrageous. And Trevor, you're you're, you're spot on. I, I really appreciate you going after it. But if we don't clobber SB 54, if people don't come to my petition and sign up, if we don't if we don't stop this, uh, we're going to have rapists and child molesters returning to our communities to prey on us yet again. And these are people that should be deported. You know, even our uh, Attorney General Becerra said the most heinous of criminals should be deported. Uh, we've had uh, Antonio Veragrosa, the former mayor of Los Angeles, he said the same thing. And yet, none of them are speaking out against SB 54 when they know that this shields rapists and child molesters. And I think those are heinous criminals, and I think those are they should be deported. Yeah, exa- and, and, and we've got to let people know exactly what this is and way to do it, way to be a Rottweiler, because uh, all these uh, Democrats, these liberal progressive globalists in California, I bet you if we went back and looked at their campaign flyers, they would talk about crime and safety and peace on the streets, and yet they're allowing this. Senator, thank you for your time. Tell our Power Talk listeners up and down the valley here where we go to sign your petition. Google Joel Anderson. It's right on my website. You can't miss it. It's easy as pie. And uh, if you contact my office, we'll send it to you electronically, and you can send that link out to all your family and friends. But we've got to send a clear message to Sacramento. We're not going to tolerate this anymore. Uh, We want felons first. Get those people deported. We need them out of our country. They're not worthy of becoming a citizen. Exactly. We have a good sheriff here who lets ICE work in uh, her jails, so that is an up note here. Senator Joel Anderson, Republican of San Diego, Google Joel Anderson. Bam, it'll pop right up. I've already signed it. It's that quick. Senator, keep on working hard, and uh, we'll be in touch. Thank you for uh, helping to make California great again. Oh, My pleasure. Thank you so much.